The Philippine Navy is reviving its plans to locally manufacture naval vessels to strengthen maritime security amid the ongoing tension in the West Philippine Sea. The Philippine Navy said that their future naval procurements will involve the local construction of ships instead of just procuring foreign-built ships. To paraphrase what was reported, this would mean foreign shipbuilders must allow technology transfer and local construction of the ships. Shipbuilders usually allow technology transfer and local construction. But this involved a higher project cost and a longer delivery time frame since the technology transfer itself costs a lot more, while local construction means inefficiencies, especially if the local shipbuilder is not experienced in building warships. On the plus side, local shipbuilders will gain experience in warship construction, eventually improve its efficiency and capability, and may even reach the point where they will design their own ships. Take Indonesia's Point PAL, for example. It started with taking the technology to build LPDs from South Korea and has already built more than eight similar ships, not just for the Indonesian Navy but also for the Philippine Navy, and now for the UAE Navy too. But there are risks in such endeavors. First is the continuity of orders to allow local shipbuilders to invest in building warships locally. Second is the continuity of local shipbuilders to exist and retain the technology to build the ships, considering all are private shipbuilders and not state-owned like Point Pal. Maybe it's also time for the re-establishment of the National Shipbuilding and Steel Corporation NASSCO, which existed until the 1960s, in addition to supporting the Naval Shipbuilding Center in Cavite and other private local shipbuilders. At the moment, the Naval Shipbuilding Center might be too small to construct ships larger than 50 meters long and could only build patrol boats and landing crafts. Speaking of local construction, there are several foreign shipbuilders who have made known their disappointment in the DND and Philippine Navy during the time of former Defense Sec. Delphin Lorenzana with regards to the Philippine Navy's OPV acquisition project, which was awarded to South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries. Originally, the tech specs called for local construction of at least four of the six ships, but HHI did not allow for this despite other shipbuilders like Austal, Bangkok Dock, ASFAT, Naval Group, and Damon all offering their OPVs to be built locally. But the DND decided to remove the local construction requirement, and HHI ultimately won the project. With such experience, many of these shipbuilders have become less interested in Philippine Navy projects, especially if they require local construction requirements. Philippine Navy spokesperson for the WPS Commodore Roy Vincent Trinidad said the government, through the Department of National Defense, will no longer buy warships from other countries. The Defense Department says very strongly that we will no longer buy ships from abroad because to sustain them is more expensive than their cost. It is better for the economy to build our own ships, said Trinidad in a media forum at Club Filipino in Green Hills, San Juan City. So, part of the effort of the Defense Department is to spur the development of the local industry, Trinidad said. The Philippine Navy, according to Trinidad, will train its personnel in shipbuilding. Yes, that is our direction. The Philippine Navy, as I mentioned earlier, had developed two or three warships in the 1980s, so why not just sustain that? We are reviving that effort, he said. Trinidad assured the public the Philippine Navy, the armed forces of the Philippines, and other maritime players will do everything to secure and protect the country's territory and exclusive economic zones. In 2011, PN successfully commissioned a landing craft utility vessel built by a local shipyard in the Philippines.